What's up, Raven fans? I'm Pez, and on this episode of the Raven Roundup, I'll be bringing you updates on the football team and a special story on our Raven marching band. Tonight, the Ravens football team is headed to Shawnee Mission North to battle the top-ranked Shawnee Mission East Lancers. Shawnee Mission East has a record of 8-1 and a perfect Sunflower League record. After a 34-8 win last week at Shawnee Mission South, the Ravens have a tough matchup ahead. Come out and support your boys tonight at 7. Now we are going to send it to Angie Torres and Catherine Farewell for a story about two of the most productive juniors on this year's football team. Junior Weston Davis is trying to keep the ride alive, but tells me what he's looking forward to about moving to San Antonio. Uh, I'm leaving to Texas to uh, play football and uh, for my dad's job. I'm looking forward to uh, good football and hopefully some uh, better NBA teams. I talk with Cole Manning about next year's team. Uh, we're going to focus, we're going to take it a year at a time, get better, get better next year. Cole and Weston played big roles this year and in their playoff win. Next year, Cole Manning will change positions and he talks about missing Weston Davis on and off the field. Uh, he's a good friend, he's a good player, we'll miss him a lot. Season isn't over yet, they play this Friday at 7 against Shawnee Mission East. Keep the state title dream alive, boys. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Nick Lopez, Angie Torres, and Catherine Farewell. Next, we're going to take it to Rosie Klausner as she has a story on a soloist in this year's marching band field show. Ryan Atchison has always loved being a part of the band since elementary school. I played the French horn starting from fifth grade, so I played horn for four years. And when I transitioned to high school, you can't march French horn. So I played mellophone for, and now this would be my fourth year playing that. And I've also kept playing horn too. Over the summer band camp, he had a unique opportunity to audition for a mellophone solo for the field show. I've always dreamt of being a soloist, especially when I'm watching professional bands like Drum Corps International and just watching them. And it's been so fun. And I was like, hey, I want to be like them. And so when the opportunity came to audition, and I actually got it. It felt good. As he was learning the solo, he eventually overcame one of his fears that will shape him into a better performer later on. It's really good to be a soloist. You kind of feel like everyone, the spot's on you, you know, kind of have that pressure. I don't do well under pressure sometimes, but I learned to kind of grow out of it. And so it's really benefited me to like not get nervous when I perform. As far as the future is concerned, Adjuston is currently not set on any musical plans for college. Going to KU and being in the Marching Jayhawk Band. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, folks. Make sure to check out the Raven Daily Twitter for updates on tonight's football game. Have a great weekend, Ravens.